Well, Myanmar today, I must say I'm really happy, I'm really excited, and what is happening right here. You know, uh, the country is changing politically, economically, socially. Uh, the reform process that is ongoing right now is phenomenal. You know, I mean, imagine uh, what is happening in just three years. Also, from uh, uh, investors' point of view, uh, the investment law now has been amended uh, to make it even more friendlier to potential investors. The business environment has now been created. The right environment has now been created. So all I can say is come and at least explore. I, I do believe that this is the right time to come and invest in our country, a new frontier with tremendous opportunities that are waiting for you. Well, uh, back in 1989, uh, we started as a very humble service company, uh, specializing in providing various services in the oil and gas sector of Myanmar, and that's Mutant Associates. MPRL was founded in 1996. The first project we did was uh, the Manfi project in partnership with Baker Hughes of the United States, and uh, we were just a 9.5 percent partner in the project and that's how we started but today uh, we are now uh, a group of companies a total eight where NPR EMP is a flagship company and we now have uh, Mitten Associates as a service provider we have a drilling arm we have a construction arm we have a IPP and independent power arm so it's, it's, it's a group of companies now led by the flagship uh, NPR when we started uh, conducting business in Myanmar, we decided that uh, if we are going to do business, we want to do it ethically, professionally, and the way business is conducted all over the world. So when I started the uh, service company back in 1989, that's how we did it. And also by 1996, when we founded NPR and EMP, we basically run the company along the the international industry standard. Myanmar is a country that is abundance of natural resources. And then a lot of people talk about just natural resources, but there's a lot of human resources potentials. I'm really happy in general operating in the energy sector of Myanmar. I think it's a, it's a tremendous uh, sector with potential to grow. Uh, we have a very good working relationship with the Ministry of Energy, so we, we really enjoy what we are doing today and we hope to grow together with the country. You know, that, that's what I intend to do. Now that the sanctions have been lifted, uh, there's enormous amount of companies, you know, whether it be small, independent or the majors like uh, Chevron, Exxon, uh, uh, British Gas, Woodside, I mean, they all are here. So it's, it's really um, uh, exciting, uh, challenging times. Up to about three years ago, the main problem that we face as a company, which was an obstacle actually for us to grow uh, much faster than how we grew, uh, the main, one of the main obstacles was getting funding, raising capital. But things have changed now. I mean, now banks, uh, the venture capitalists, uh, uh, that are all coming, talking to us. There's a tremendous opportunity for us to grow. And again, when we're talking about growth in that level, we definitely need to raise capital. So we are now looking at various options, and one of the options is to list MPR or EMP either in Singapore in, or in the London uh, Stock Exchange. And that's uh, one of the top uh, uh, priority corporate goals that we have set for 2014. So we will definitely pursue that aggressively and, uh, and achieve that. And we are very confident that uh, we should be able to list uh, in one of those stock exchanges. I've been promoting and uh, uh, helping the sport of sailing in Myanmar since uh, 1989. Now, MPR also as a company has been supporting uh, Myanmar sailing in every way possible. And when we had the Sea Games, the first in 44 years, 
you know, to be hosted by our country. We wanted not just to do it casually, but we want to do it in such a way that it will go down in history as a, as a memorable event. And so to do that, we needed a yacht club. We got it done and uh, I'm, I'm very happy as well as proud to say that uh, when all the teams arrive, not only the participants, but uh, like jury members, uh, umpires, measurers, all are sent from the International Sailing Federation. They were just flabbergasted. I mean, they just couldn't believe what they saw. Most importantly, they all left. And what they said was, you know, this is a great place. It's a beautiful beach, ideal place for sailing. And they like to see it grow, you know, from there into a marina stage. I think there's tremendous potential.